Watch you guys, got another video here for you. Now in my last video I showed you how to dual boot Linux Mint with Windows 7. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you how to uninstall that dual boot and get rid of the, the actual grub menu here and get back to just having Windows 7 on the system. So we're going to be removing Linux Mint safely. Now you must make sure that you back up all your data on Linux Mint before you do this because once it's gone, it's gone forever. So what we're going to do here is boot into Windows 7 so we're going to come down and this will be the last time you see this menu system so we're going to come down to Windows 7 and boot into that okay we're at the desktop here and we're going to be using a free program called EasyBCD now you can use a Windows CD or recovery CD to rewrite the master boot record, but we're going to be using uh, EasyBCD. So what we need to do here is you go to C plans and then you can register for a free copy, non-commercial use, and then uh, you will be able to get your free copy of this. All you need to do is put your name in here and your email address and it will allow you to download a free copy of it. Now I've already got mine downloaded and installed. So let's fire up EasyBCD. Okay, so here we have our EasyBCD, and what we're going to do is come down to uh, BCD deployment, and you'll see some options down here. All that interests me here is the bottom part, which is MBR configuration options. This is going to remove our grub from the system and put it back to our Windows 7 bootloader. Now this will work on Windows Vista as well, and by default it's selected my uh, Windows 7 and Vista. Now if you want to do XP, then obviously you're going to need to use this one down here. So what we're going to do here is click on Write MBR, and that's that done. Now we want to come up to Edit Boot Menu, and what we want to do here, you can see we've got our Windows 7 uh, here, and what we want to do is uh, skip the boot menu, and just to make sure that it goes straight into Windows so we don't have any problems. So I'm going to save this. Now that's saved successfully. We've now finished with uh, Easy BCD. And what we're going to do now is right click on my computer and uh, go to Manage. Now this is the step where we're going to remove the partition for uh, Linux and there you can see they're both there okay now what you need to make sure is before you did all this you need to make sure that you've got all this backed up because once it's gone it's gone so what we're going to do here is delete this first partition I'm going to right click on this and delete the volume I'm going to say yes to this and there you can see that's been deleted and the next one we need to delete is this one here I'm going to delete that volume as well Okay, and then now we've got this free space here we're going to right click on this and delete the partition now we've got unallocated space and what I want to do here is just uh, use click on the C drive here and then right click on this and extend the volume go next and then we're going to go next again and then finish and that's gonna take up all that slack space and put it back into our C drive so now we've only got our one drive left and that's pretty much that done so if we look back up our C, uh, my computer here you'll see back to our C drive everything's now gone so let's reboot the system and see if that's all uh, gone well I'm gonna quickly restart And as you can see, it's gone straight into uh, starting Windows. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So that's how you remove the dual boot with Linux uh, Mint and uh, Windows 7. Now that could also be used for other Linux types 
um, that you've installed as a dual boot and you can use that method to remove those as well and uh, I'm pretty sure you should have no problems if you use that method that's probably the safest way of doing it okay just remember to back up all your data on your Linux uh, machine before you do anything otherwise it will be deleted and lost forever okay so I think that's pretty much it for this video hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos hit that subscribe button and show your support by rating and favorite all my videos and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future so thanks again for watching guys bye for now